coming back for his church. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 24 verse 42, Watch therefore, for you do not know the hour your Lord is coming. I want you to know, church, that Jesus Christ could come this month. Or he might come next week. Or he could even come... That's a question there. Are you ready? It will be in the twinkle of an eye. And he said, Bona la pana, what corner basala are you? Now, Ungambus, Makela, no Kumangboy, Unesbin, is Ungambus, Ugulababa Hamba, no more Gulababa. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, Siabon. Si yambo nkulunkulu. Kusa sa sizo besingena. Ekteni. Si chungandu si sulo anesokuina before the coming of Jesus. Amen. Sobe si vezam uimba u es shoyoguti. Le generation le. So kaza ne generation what how long is generation according to the Bible. And then basically, a buga ke wote. Is the place in this old mazenzeka? Zibo upa wote sexondel. Ogbuya kwenkos. Is is this ukulwane? The generation that will be there. Uma kwenzeka these sons. Leo generation yeke salula ilandelwe nye. Inga kagboni kwaonge. Ogna ma last days. No ma end time events. Wednesday, including the coming of Jesus for us, even the coming of Jesus with us. So, so okay, just so 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 it's all from the horse's mouth. Upon getting Wamgelenko seen, go to Jesus and Dosa Kosamgela from the God the Father. So, Lama so as of a Kulua, we direct. Uli sweet legan kolungur. So so beke se sbona ke zinto ke sasa e e e ate si obona gazo. Le le lighti righti yenza go tik bona galen. It's okay. Izinto ate si obona gazo asini wanga itate ne awa. Koto esi nigi we season. Ushutike kuni mba uge mai kungeni sisi nenge. Is spring ubona nguvuti kushinge. I vegetation ibe green, which is a sign nguvuti wa entering into another season. So unkulunguwa gafunanga si be se bumi nyamin singa zinge zikati. Uguze usu luga Jesu lunga si zoomi lunga si lunga starting bring a surprise. U Jesu giti magaze as a bridegroom as a very simple deal. So that is why the last question, the question there, it is, are you ready? Sizo bona geksa sa guti vele ma eza u Jesu Christu. Uze uguzo landa aba mlindi ili. Kutu ito mbezi lishu mzazi linde. Kodwa uafuazo wa ulinde unga lindi ili. Ngoba wa unge koreti ngezi ndo ezi ezi fanele uguba umye ni mae e slanga chezwa. A slanga chezwa ezi ikona kulaba aba mlindi ili. Jenga bataba sonda benga sindisiwe. Some games of Nabalin to me, got a banana, my foot, a banana, you more like a crest, a basin to see way, a banana, you oil. Gifuna, 
give me lane ke se tinje eh yebona i for taste in taste se hlambe so idlala kahle enzukwini ngifuna sibone ukuthi abafa benge namhlanje ngifuna nje sidla le clip ayisizwe iqeda yonke kodwa nje ngifuna ube ne picture lo mzalwane uNkulunkulu wamsiza noma i imagination yakhe illimited engeke akwazi ukuxhasa ubuhle balapho siyakhona ngokugcwele ngoba asikabe nayi language mawulalela incwadi eh ye revelation it's uh, in ama symbols kezo wala bazala yeah types and symbols makulunga ngo antichrist riding on a white horse it's symbolic but makukhulunga ngo jesus riding on a white horse it's literal it's real lapha ehlele elimhlophe ku antichrist it's a type of false peace gezo kala bazalwane yeah so there's difference between a white horse and a vela u antichrist ekhwele kulo ne white horse evela ku chapter 19 u christ ekhwele kuyo akufana You understand? Amen. Yeah. Um uba into kubesi vuma ube shilo mama hlabe ngani themina kuye eh mhlambiso ntelo lodo ngoba zinika into kufuneka siyifundise ake si dedicate one week ku isifundo se second coming. What who mama hlaba never never you won't make it. En manje nsengi abona ukuthi vele kunjalo ngempela. I mean this is not even one uh, uh, even 10% of what is in store here. So that is why ku Saint Lizweni yami ukuthi ngenza ama series ni wathole uyibukele ekhaya. Ngoba manje angengwazi isikhathi nensuku azivumi. But we I don't know ngisafuna ukukhuluma kakhulu ngale into yale Saturday. Ukuthi uthole ukuthi siyaqala ngo 10 siyophuma ngo 5 ntamba because funeke sazi kakhulu ngeke usasa lethu Guess what Yeah ingoba that's where we are going to spend eternity We are going to spend eternity in our future not in our past So that is why it's very important for us to know about our future Mfuna nje eh ngisecela ke sibukela kancane eh revelation chapter the sibukela ni second okay la chapter 20 khulunywa ngokuthi kuzokwenzakalani uma ujesse ebuya nebandla ku chapter 19 after a wedding ceremony ezobenzeke ezulwini ku chapter 19 pet pet umshado ka Kristu nebandla nokwehla kwakhe ehla nebandla ezimhlabeni then u chapter 20 uphethe ukuthi ke mayesefikile ujesu ezo establish umbuso ka 1000 years kuzokwenzakalana na mawufunda ku chapter 21 sekhulunywa ke ngekhaya esiyakulo Are you there? Yes. Kushuti kaeli esiya kulokele yachazwa ke lapha. U Abraham lit the Bible why he rich as he was but why he kulomhlaba njenge stranger. We are strangers, we are foreign, we are foreigners. We are not of this world though we are in this world. Our citizenship is in heaven. Now lit the Bible ke u Abraham wayi wayi langazelela ikhaya eli makhi walo menzi walo u Jehovah you can imagine the city that has been built by God u architect of the city is God the builder of the city is God so lo mzalwane ke uyazama abandla naye ukuthi asinika umqondo ngiyenza ngamabomu lento ukuthi ngiyidlale le clip ukuze ube ne picture at least kancane ukuthi konje langi yakhona k 
can I afford to miss such a place? And then even go look so they say, Kubna March chats and tanda swa bone nam tanji. And then kuba kuba lula ukaza into a pectoral and zutame swako abe no go kumbula into his wheel. Malbongi kamalegos. Now, I guess Bugege umfuzi selo we kaya siya gulo. Maybe what you are going to see is not even 30% of, of what you are going to see. O queen of Sheba. In the Amen, Zaguta Suge, Ezwin Lake, Alpete, Ayobona, Ubushe, Bombuso, Solo Moon. Where swa Gao? Got a mice figure corn. What a bang cheleng, Ubushe, Bombuso, Ako Solo Moon. Even who have Valentine Bonala. Azang Mangele. Le engi bonala inga pezwa lengi iche liwe. So that is why Paul eti sazi inga enye. No mas nga fundiswa, nga fundiswa ngo buche beka esi agulo pelu nyaka wonke. So bes prophet inga enye. Ngoba nge eskwa zukusho the exactly intesia kuyo. Ngoba siyo shon jalo njengo queen of shepa. Siti lente engi ibonala. Hai na leya ishunge loba matlapa is not even half of it. So it's just a foretaste in the good ago. No, I will be an imagination to you. Oh, oh, but I'm not even married. I'm telling you, yeah, but but you understand about the bathroom design, about what is in the bio good to me to an agube contas or a born multi dog, best of a coninja, jalo mock to a pass up in Jazobanes Thomas. Glory to Jesus. All right, I guess one again, my son. I was born in South Wales. Just in the appetizer. And just the light, I guess it's still the light. Heaven. Just the word sparks wonder even among skeptics. What could such a place actually be like? Popular visions of the afterlife run the gamut from cartoony clouds to new age runoffs, but most ignore scripture's intriguing glimpses behind the curtain. We know the one who built and rules that land promises us far more than floating harps or angel icing for eternity. But what does the Bible really say lies ahead once we leave this weary world behind? What solid clues do we have about heaven's actual environment, specifically its construction materials? Questions bubble up in every inquiring mind. Do we take at face value mentions of structures incorporating giant gems or solid mineral gold? Could the heavenlies contain such inconceivable wealth and beauty? Before drifting into fairy tale territory though, responsible Bible readers know we must interpret any imagery in context. Metaphors point beyond themselves, so in this video, we will anchor down biblical references to the intriguing building materials of heaven that kindle our imagination. Their meaning, their purpose in highlighting facets of God's unmatched creativity and unending generosity awaiting us. The streets alone stun with implications of life flooded by divine light, perfect community and Christ's splendor eclipsing all else. The journey ahead deserves far more than trite tradition or bland brush-offs. Let the revealed majesty of heaven captivate your expectations instead. God calls us upward by revealing glimpses of glory that rewire how we walk here today. The radiance of heaven permeates multiple glimpses in scripture, but the most jaw-dropping picture showcases the holy city itself. In Revelation 21, John describes New Jerusalem coming down adorned like a bride for her groom. The materials composing every structure shine, stoking our curiosity. What purpose do these exact elements serve for the capital city of eternity, the apex of God's promised presence with mankind? Gold surfaces more than once, beginning with the street itself. The great street of the city was of gold, as pure as transparent glass. Revelation 21 verse 21. Now that captures attention. Imagine walking on solid yet translucent gold, 
almost swirling patterns beneath your feet. The layer of dust and debris we daily tread dissolves before such purity, such warmth and comfort underfoot. The radiance shining through hints at the unhindered light ahead. If even a sidewalk gets the Midas treatment, gold also edges the entire city, comprising part of its great and high wall. Revelation 21 verse 18. Gold signifies value for what is esteemed and safeguarded. The covenant loyalty of God himself stands as the citizen's great reward, their security not fleeting but sealed by divine character. Such permanence and abundance boggle our notions of blessing. No lack, no instability, just assurance flowing from Christ's love demonstrated through every shining brick mortared by grace. The blessings of that golden city stem from God's presence, no longer distant but tangible and intense. I did not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. Revelation 21 verse 22. No intermediaries or restrictions interrupt direct fellowship with the triune God atop those gold-paved roads. The city gleams as if to echo his glory, to refract more facets of his beauty. And we remain right there at the dazzling center. Gold's talent for capturing light weirdly suits portraying the glory of the Eternal One. God appears surrounded by gold. His throne glitters like jasper and ruby. The rainbow halo glows like an emerald, all encircled by that sea of glass, clear as crystal. Revelation 4 verse 2 to 3 and verse 6. Gold mirrors back heaven's brilliance. Even the 24 elders' crowns shine gold, underscoring God sharing his reign across eternity. Golden bowls brim with incense, the prayers of the saints offered before the golden throne. The elect's promised crowns also glint from precious metal, rewards funded by infinite treasure to honor Christ's matchless worth, demonstrated on earth. 1 Peter 5 verse 4 Unlike fading coins or plating, the gold in heaven infuses deeply into its very structures. Its otherworldliness reinforces that God's space stands untouched by humanity's scrubby fingerprints or sweaty injustice. Sin does not fly under the radar there. Instead, realities once invisible to limited human sight stand naked. But we will belong because Christ's righteousness clothes our unholiness before that throne. So gold reflected through transparent streets represents the divine eternal, breaking our linear existence wide open. We enter the circles of never-ending light and life pulsing from the Godhead, bringer of the holy city. The cycling, generous outflow that birthed and sustained creation before extending redemption now draws us near to share joy face to face, not held at bay. The welcoming golden walls foreshadow meeting the dazzling triune community, granting us such immediate access forevermore, all by astonishing grace. Gold signals, value, beauty and deity stretching into eternity. But solid walls of gold also underscore unmatched security blanketing New Jerusalem. Consider Old Testament cities fortified by walls and gates as the first line of defense. Invaders clamoring over stone barriers met fierce resistance from guard posts scanning for threats. Citizens taking cover behind barricades rested in provisional safety, at least temporarily. No so in the eternal holy city. Its layered gold walls promise literally imperishable protection. The wall was made of jasper and the city of pure gold as pure as glass. The foundations of the city walls were decorated with every kind of precious stone. Revelations 21 verse 18 to 19. No fretting about foundations crumbling over time or a tricky enemy tunneling underneath. Believers abide wrapped securely by divine light and dazzling beauty forever. Earlier in Revelation, John glimpses the glory of God giving it light and its lamp being the Lamb. Revelations 21 verse 23. We live perpetually lit by Christ himself, illuminated from within, no longer looking over our shoulder or worrying about danger creeping from the shadows. The golden barrier stands not to block out God's presence, but as the marker of sacred space where we now belong through redemption. We are welcomed home and nothing unclean or idolatrous ever breaches New Jerusalem's integrity. 
Revelations 21 verse 27. Sin holds no sway in eternity. Its scourge cannot survive the consummated kingdom bursting with righteousness founded on the Lamb's sacrifice. What glorious, unshakable security. The golden stronghold of heaven promises we rest in holiness. Untouched by evil, rotating in the warmth of God's smile, now unhindered by sin's clouding veil. Hallelujah! Stepping back to examine the holy city's cavernous gates conjures true awe at heaven's grandeur. Consider, the twelve gates were twelve pearls, each gate made of a single pearl. Verse 21. Try stretching imagination enough to envision a solid pearl the size of a gateway, not brittle smooth cream but glowing with inner fire. Surely such monumental gems celebrate surpassing beauty, unique glory capping each entrance beckoning God's people. Pearls begin as irritants, grains of sand or shell, piercing vulnerable oyster flesh. But layer upon nacreous layer slowly dulls the danger within the protective confines of its shell. While secreted smoothly around the injury, the lowly oyster births peerless treasure over time, rinsed by currents into greater luster. In Revelation, these twelve colossal pearls fronting New Jerusalem may symbolize fresh genesis, beauty once marred, now highlighting Christ's redemption. Or gigantic gates formed from single jewels could picture the unified diversity of God's church. Believer to believer fitted immaculately together by the Spirit despite scratches and odd shapes. And walking through blesses senses with luminous finish unmatched on earth. Pearl essence plays gently with light. Such translucence suits the ethereal environment ahead. The ambient glow of the Lord God and the Lamb mingling with varied surfaces as they illuminate the eternal city. Blanketed by divine light, surrounded by refracting walls and streets catching every dazzling beam, heaven's beauty pervades as we step into our upgrade. So perhaps these mammoth pearl gates represent transfiguration from earthly struggle into divine glory. Just as oysters take that original irritant unto themselves to craft protection and pearlescent delight, so Christ took the gritty contagion of human depravity into himself on the cross as payment to heal and perfect us. His followers pass purified through the gates, tragedy traded for splendor. Through the colossal single pearl portals we cross over into God's space where no shadows or stumbling blocks remain, just joyful belonging in the ever-increasing radiance of Christ. The pearls promise that grittiness dissolves fully to smooth wonder in New Jerusalem. We will shine. Moving deeper inside the dazzling city, gemstones stud the very foundations glittering like rainbows. John lists minerals familiar to us but airbrushed to supernatural glory. Jasper, sapphire, chalcedony, emerald, onyx, carnelian, chrysolite, beryl, topaz, chrysoprase, jacinth, amethyst, Revelation 21 verse 19 to 20. Each exquisite in color, cut and clarity beyond earthly equivalence. Set within gold, the collective radiance must approach the unfiltered coruscating colors streaming from God's glory. Their reflections multiply the brightness, saturate the very light pooling off the transparent golden streets. Just as a crisp diamond refracts miniature rainbow flecks, so these concentrated gemstones adorning New Jerusalem's walls splinter pure luminosity into further tribute. And Revelation's stones seem to claim identity from the twelve tribes of Israel. Venus to Mars, shining to spotlight Christ's redemptive lineage through Abraham and David. Consider the tradition of using colored gemstones to represent biblical tribes on priestly vestments. Sapphire's azure evokes heavenly revelation. Ruby's passion mirrors divine love. The emerald evokes restored life in the garden echoing Eden. Now stretch imagination to envision these concentrated colors bejeweling entire architectural supports and gleaming finishes. The sheer variety and intensity of pigments promise to continually delight the senses. As we behold these spotted foundation stones winking beneath the glassy gold lanes, each fiery flash pulls attention briefly before another gemstone dazzles eyes anew, always more to behold of heaven's ever-captivating artistry. Scripture spotlights pure gold, lustrous pearls, and concentrated gemstones integrating New Jerusalem's infrastructure. Such valuable materials prompt the question, 
Why so lavish for simple streets and retaining walls? Consider how these substances prophesy greater realities about God's eternal kingdom. Specifically, the Lux building materials signify heaven's complete freedom from decay, ruin or violation. Believers inherit new creation purged of sin's curse, instead vibrating with joy and healing as design crescendos forever. Unlike weathering elements eroding earthly structures, New Jerusalem's gold and mineral substances prove impervious, shining immortally. Just as God's unchanging character secures his promises for eternity, likewise the holy city he architected to dwell in with his people will never tarnish or fade. Additionally, gold and gems recall Eden's pre-fall abundance and beauty before the ground sprouted thorns. Heaven consummates paradise restored, sans sweaty labor or blight thwarting equatorial lushness. No avoidance of shadowy alleyways either. All of New Jerusalem basks openly in divine light. The Lamb himself its lamp emanating pure goodness. Revelation 21 verse 23. Thus, God hand selects each specific material for the eternal capital to prophesy life, bursting with righteousness, worship, creativity, harmony and discovery, all increasing endlessly throughout the ages as the redeemed circle his rainbow throne with overflowing gladness. The city's very metals and minerals signify heaven as the apex of joyful purpose and loving divine presence without decay or loss. Our spirits resonate, yes, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just to help you, we mean the imagination. We go to see a place here. Is all that in the band? I got to. I got to. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Thank you so much. Kutega Nina understand. John 14 from verse 1. Can you read for us? John 14 verse 1 Let not your heart be troubled Ye believe in God Believe also in me In my father's house Are many mansions If you were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you And if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again And receive you unto myself That where I am There ye may be also Shaisan. Nasogis Tempis. Nasogis Tempis from horse's mouth. Ugo Zelangi corn. Nibe corn and none. In the little Makelon, Engati, you are breaking. Naloge Kala Mige Bengi, Nicolelo, Jail, Jel Makelon. Yeah, I'm, I'm a citizen, Yalapa. Ako zifo, ako kibengu, ako matimoni, ako satane, astandazi, astomne kali, zogula no satane, astasula muntu, askube, askutwa, askip matimoni, astandazi, siatumisa, ako nzala, ako luto. Angazwe na, I cannot afford to miss this. Ako ngishu mosquito. Akong Shama Pela. 
Akos Betela. Abe security, Abasabin Zamaj, Accessions, Akos security, Tingalab. Befin was born Kulama Saints, a hamper going with the Mishopi Hamper and Nanet. Who's born in Aguti? You mean I get all up. Oh, my God. Angel Goskazi Bengse, a good balcony, the lap on the Bugale clip. I was moved emotionally. Born Gulugul, the last Tandanga, would you? Utabanga the best for us. I mean, I could rent well up a gentleman, I could rent, let's say rental, a cock along a shoe case, I could shedding La Palacia Con. Send Kulman away. Go to a cock on a she tempe, Loklangan. Go put your sweet tempe. Aukolanga, Elzo Kanyis, Goba Inkas, Muloya, Kayone Kaisa. My God. Hey. Mofika Fiku Bong, what's it? Fiku Bong, I I guess one some of the diagrams couldn't enter from the week. Cool, Madam Sanjay. A class again, Java Sing Shilo, which so born again. It proves you what's strong and what we are the last generation that will see the coming of Jesus Christ, both for the church and with the church. Glory to Jesus. All right. The end time sequence of events. Now, more funda, Revelation chapter 1, verse 4, I mean, chapter 1, verse 19. A sequence of events is biblical. It started in Genesis chapter 1. On the first day, on the second day, on the third day, we have sequence of events of the end times. Chapter 4, Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. Johan knew well and putting a quav legis local. Gezwa is winning a little long, little yen you gala gala. Gizboni says, Isn't this male wensek, emva look? Which it's a proof with Unkunukulu, a rasanga sanganisi, minds is into. Uzbega ngogo shelo loaki. Une calendar ungurungur. There's a divine calendar. Some exercise one some of the things. Zobezi tkaza uti si usipis kati isipis kati skuso esenza kutu engati. We are the generation that will see the rest of the end time events. Zobezenzega towards the coming again. Of Jesus Christ, Malbongi Kamalinkos. Are you listening carefully, Bazalon? Yes. Uh, now we are in. This is our time here, as you can see, present day. After the death of Christ, La Paya Nango Alpha. Likamulga Alpha Na La La Pa. Okay, Jesus Uvela is Alpha Lab, and the Uvela is Omega. This is one of us alone. Velege Amaka Makelai, who is Kalo is Pell, or Kalum Sebens, Kit, Exin Swingwit, Uzo Katela says Tolims in Bemish. Why? Because Alpha no Omega. That is why 
iverse lokuqala ku Genesis 3 eqaleni uNkulunkulu wenza izwe nomhlaba iverse lokuqala ku chapter 1 John lithi eqaleni was the word noma satana ngabaquza akakwazi ukuba ngo omega engazanga be wa alpha now as we see the cross there it's all about the first coming of Christ then the gospel started kwa Israel lasele yaqhubeka lilangenana kwabezizwe now there as we see it dispensation yebandla and ibandla kuthiwa lapha the mysterious the mystery of the church because in the old testament we don't hear any prophet ekhuluma ngebandla clearly as seers into the future they could not see easily they could not easily see the church the church is mysterious that is why even ubuyaka jesu ezokwakha ibandla was also mysterious abazange babambe ukhanjelwa kwabo uze kwaba kubo kodwa bakhe azange bamvume so that is why kunenda wengathi shona phansi lapha engathi shona phansi because ibandla le mystery so aba prophet bebe kwaso kubona babone ile kuzane what you call here eh is is the it should ukala kwe 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 what you call kwe tribulation kezo kala bazalona yeah sibona ma seals la sibona ma trumpets la sibona ma vowels so ma vowels ke aqala lento ukuthiwa ke i great tribulation kezo kala bazalona right now um so ngithanda sikhumbuzane bazalwane la ukuthi i dispensation yebandla ihamba lento yami iphile yayizola yangihlupha le point ya la siyakhuphuka la and we see jesus here as a morning star as you can see kezo kala bazalwane yeah and lapha ezulwini no matter about pics and about my theologians but these 24 elders can also represent the church and the old testament saints and then besela um iskati so kwamkelwe so kwama rewards and then mrs ngena ku merit supper of the lamb singena ku merit supper of the lamb yeah masqeda ungena ngesonke lesikhathi as you can see here chapter 4 to the end kushuti after o chapter 2 and 3 where okhaza isikhathi ebandla then from chapter 4 to the end here it's easy into ezenzeka emva kwalokho emva kokuhlwithwa kwebandla you understand Now we are here in heaven. We are here in heaven and on earth for seven years konakelela. Lesi sikhathi sibizwa ukuthi isikhathi se judgment of nations. Isikhathi se Jacob's trouble. Isikhathi solaka lokuNkulunkulu phezu komhlaba. Esibizo akuthiwa i tribulation masifika la ku half bese kuqala lento ukuthiwa i great tribulation Now in days of ezenzeka la kulo 7 years ubuhlungu ubungakazi bube khona emhlabeni Oko isizathu sokuthi sithi escape thina sizohlwithwa sizo sizo haphazo in Greek Rapturo in Latin ukuthatha ngezidlozane njengokhozi malithatha 
he pray no matter the makwane uhesha ne sasithi uhesha ne kale ethi ngikuthi uma ethi awa uyichwana selihambile sizohluthwa kanjalo it will be in a twinkle of an eye must flatter nje sisila phezulwini lizoqala ulaka likankulunkulu lehlele phezu komhlaba right since revision go back sa sa singena kwenyinto sizo chaza futhi i think lo singa namhla nje go lo sithathu ufuna sibone in details izinto ezobe zenzeka emhlabeni ibandla linge lapho sibona 144000 sibone ama tribulation saints babizwa kanjalo ngoba baya confuse one ebandla kube ngathi ithi kanti abasale sihlwitwa na ukuhlwitwa kwebandla kubizwa ke harvest ukunyuka ka Jesu kubizwa nge first fruit ukuvuka kwakhe anyuke kube khona nabangcwele aba shiftela ku paradise basuke sifubeni sika Abraham baye paradise ngoba indawo ilungisiwe akasekho manje umtoto olungileyo ukuthi mayefa asho nephansi abukane kanje naba sephides yena esesifubeni sika Abraham kukhona if is something like a gap between them ongale ungale ongala ungala akanamandla ukuya ngale So ekufeni ka Jesu Kristu ngomphefumulo wakhe waya kwabafileyo. And then Petro uti wafike washumayela khona. And the message was to the saints as he hambe emhlabeni zilungile phambi kwaNkulunkulu. Uthi sesi yathutha ke laba kwethu. Igazi lamse lilungisile indawo sekhona ndawo uthi paradise. Awonisa khona in njoba uthe esesho esiphambanweni ekhuluma nendoda emvumayo ivuma izivumo sokuthi ujesu uyinkosi ngoma simvuma as lord we confess him into salvation you understand yeah so now we believe him unto righteousness as our father u abraham kwenzeka kanja le the bible wa kholwa kwase kubalelwa kuye ukuthi ulungile ngokukholwa ukukholwa lokho esingaku eni okuza by grace glory to jesus usekhona now bazobe bethutha ke bonke no samuel ababe ngaphansi nangu samuel evuka ethethi usaula ukuthi ngihluphe ka ngihluphelani ngisahleli kamnandi esifubeni sika abraham do kuyigama lendawo eya ilicina bangcwele kwange sona isifuba sokuhlala esifubeni kanje kodwa igama lendawo lalibizwa ukuthi ayisifuba sika Abraham na uma sekwenziwa ke sebe transferwa ke manje e paradise eli we third heaven njoba ethu Jesu namhla uzoba nam kuphi note esifubeni sika Abraham at this time ngobe igama lika igazi ka Jesu manje livala i Old Testament livula New Testament oba naba izwandle ngisho liyaba liyayibethela incwadi yomthetho oweza ngomusi lisingenisa eqinisweni nomusa kaNkulunkulu uKristo ufike egcwele umusa neqiniswa amathuluzi akade ezosebenza ngawo you understand yes Now njoba ngithabe ngikhuluma nawe nje imphefumulo nemimoya yabangcwele ngoba lezinto ehlukene ngomoya ngine consciousness of god ngine ngine ability to relate with god who is the spirit ngomphefumulo ngine consciousness of my existence i can feel me I I can have a consciousness of my existence because of my soul. That is why in your soul you are becoming but in your spirit you are because you come direct from the father. So kunet development ingakho kukho nokukhula ngwengqondo 
umdenga kul physical pela ekula even psychological. Your soul is becoming. So that is why in Gaskatuna three months, in Gaskatuna one week, you cannot tell me what you know how we answer. Because the soulish part of you was not yet well developed. Ne recognition of yourself, Masu Ungena, a good childhood stage, Supumagui babyhood stage, which is the first six years of your life. Because six is the number of men. Man say bong ala university ya se zulu intiko wam kisho safela enga nego anezi ngati show ni ogula se kinsu lo kinsu lo nkulula amakinsu se zulu inlaw a eternal la makinsu nchela wan he researched ka 1982 starting from 1982 enkupu even now now uma masaba angla ali angvelen gizi pamguenish. Gilong in Letelum Futumezo, Wogusha Waiso, in Futumezo, the microphone, the microphone, microwave, sing it in the microphone. I'm not so scared. Fining a nigger something fresh from the heart of God. And I guarantee you, your life will never be the same again. The reason why we were scolding, it's this, the development of your soul. Amen? Because it is the most active part of your life while you are still here. The most active part of your trinity is your soul. The most active part of uh, 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 is going to be your spirit. The spirit part of you is not as active as your soul. That is why as man thinks in his heart, so is he, according to this life. You're, you are limited by the state of your soul. That is why poverty is not lack of money. It is the state of your mind. Oh. We are using one short. Yeah. So, now, space reserved city as it must seem to so a reserve seat for us. Because you are a spirit being. Because you are a spirit being, your spirit is not limited by space and time. Because your spirit was there before creation in God. When God was releasing a breath of life, it was not a wind, it was not oxygen, it was not a resuscitation, it was a, a, a human, a, a, a man. Man. Human. Now, man is in the body which is comes from the soil. You, it's an abbreviation of humus. It's another name for soil or dust. So, a human being, being means living, being. Oh, you, soil, man, spirit. So, when God was breathing the breath of life, Chaim, in Hebrew, Uchaim, once you know, I am a Elohim, 
Ya bona? So u Elohim ushuti unkulunkulu mtatu e munye. Ingako eti let us make men. He's not talking to another man. He's talking to himself in Trinity. Ngobuzo kwenza i Trinity emtwini. Uzo kwenza i soul ne 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 uzo kwenza spirit ne soul ne body. Manje Trinity ezo kwenza Trinity. The spirit part of you, the, the soulish part of you was hidden in your spirit. The spirit part of you was hidden in God's spirit. So that's why Mausin is a manje. Imaging interpenetration of your spirit with the spirit of God. Akfana man's no paraffin. In fact, Abakaza, but Babuki Kameliti, Uzun Kumbule, Mofigan Busue, who remember Unamaka Mama, Uno Re prefix, no member part of Uri Ushut again, who member Uti, um, I want to be part of. I've got members in the, my body. They are members of the body, members. We are members in the body of Christ. We are members in particular. So Iskeben City, remember me. Would put me back where I used to be before sin came. So that is why all about salvation, you know, re. Is salvation, you know, re. No redemption, no reconciliation. Huh? No resurrection. Or regeneration. No re. It, 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 it's, it's being, re. this thing is being restored. You know, again. So, so cousin, you mean why could twelve Adam no ever Zalana Nande? Can you say it in English? Be fruitful, multiply. Shishan, be fruitful, multiply. Shun, shun. And? But in a way, replenish. Yeah. We are going to read again. Yeah. It was not the first time we would be corner in the The first. Zotin. Abanta Babe corner, they were not in the image of God. Babe corner, Gescatu Lucifer, a laula as a regent for Adam. Inga komaji mai funge olinga na nukulukul utuzo zule mafin a zule ingangezin ayo shala la pungulukule silikon. Inga kongeskate wa usatane be kabana nukulukul glory to Jesus umshaba wa shaywa geflat wa pinda ku 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 so Lucifer, we are now a pet a ruler. Kulumsha. E Lucifer's flat. Iakas of chapter four. Good enemy. Good yen Zakaganja. Umshaba wape a pezzle. Guaba konama earthquakes. Isn't as a pezzle Zabanga pants. Eco little lal velang. Lal ama precious stones. I ain't a pezzle. Got a gescati scal Lucifer's flat. Umshaba ushaywa. Get judgment. That was we, that which was on top. Young getting apart. E vegetation. E such as a little scatty. Young kid was big. In a one of dinosaurs. Everything was huge. Le crude oil. As a hambi moto say to a vegetation. A young getting apart. Oh, Nicole, no. Yes, a vegetation young in our pants. You shall malas allow a spare as locus and how a malas a vegetation a pressed and as was an oxid carbon dioxide quatin, quatalega malas. That is why I'm at to a lane who told a matamuga fish 
those are fossil skeletons. Utola matambo, a whale, a Sahara desert. A machine, go sedimentary rocks. Utole, kuna malayas, nga malayas, nga malayas, nga malayas. Because it takes, kwaba is cut a seed, umshaba umbozwa mans. Inga kumshabo musha, ungegube na luluanje, gobale sange judgment. Uluanje, a was rulpuza. Iso misu sulabaseti uzo olu anji infulinga ani abandbasuela manzi kota manzi etwele. Two thirds of earth crust covered by what? Kota kweko nintala amanza weko. Now umshabo musha lola pekinen lapak omega. This new earth and new heaven. There is no more sea. Kota there will be kutwa uh, in. There will be lakes, beautiful rivers, sweet waters. No more salty sea. Yes. Yes. Jen Makeloy, this young Angeza, the Boni Zululet, this young Angeza, what content? Hamba. Hallelujah. Now, I want to say this. There is nothing that takes God by surprise. He provided a solution before the problem. That is why Jesus Christ was seen as a lamb that was slain from the foundations of the world. But the provision for our salvation was there already. Because he knows the end from the beginnings. One day, I will be answering you questions. Why you couldn't go at the okay, slash his partner and see the oh, I'm near your woman. I'm near your woman. Glory to Jesus. Now, he looks if as flat. He a bona galak Jeremiah for there was nothing living that was left, but who knows flat the way living creatures that was left including the eight members of the family Ganoa. because it was it was going to be a new beginning Nicola, no? yeah so eight is the number of new beginnings Amen. eight is the number of new beginnings can it be so cruel it's because the Lucifer wa fitlisha na ma jeans kankulungulu. The angel is our one of Satan. They, they genetically modified a pure seed, a pure, pure breeds. Ngoba, u Satan wizu ile lenda baka Genesis 3 verse 15. In Zalo, yom faz, will crush the head of a serpent. And then, Uno wa preaching for 120 years, not a single person who are moose. Ngoba, sebenga ma high breeds. Do we understand? Yeah. Aba kaza yo, but ke, la matimona shupa yon amshayin, la imshabeni, apuma gloma, gloma, gloma high breeds, okshanga na kwa bantu and angels, kwa puma ma high breeds, abanda ba nenzwa ni, ne, ne minwe eo six, abanda ba tol, abanda ba kwa zungena la. And there was violence. Because God is wise. God is right. Everything is perfect. There's no mistake with God. You better say yes to everything that God speaks. No more I understand. Don't wait for understanding. I say, don't wait for, for understanding. Your understanding must be spiritual. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. It takes spiritual understanding to understand the mind of God. You will miss God. You will miss him. 
actually Unkulukulu is the highest technician ever existed. Look at the cell, the cell, the sperm cell and the egg cell. Information elapo mawa into translator into books. Come on. Maybe 50 encyclopedias. Huh? In one cell. Guess what? When they got cell division, we don't cool from being a psycho to be a child. Now, the interaction and they got machines. The correspondence and they got between one cell and another to show cell division, all those things. In fact, your brain, as soon as okay, your brain, your, your nervous system, your nervous system has got wires all over your body. And there's a central nervous system, your, your brain and your, yeah? and your spinal cord. Eh? Yeah, interaction is to almost two, it's, it's two million times per second. The interaction between your brains and your members of the body. It's more than two million times per second. We are told, we are complicated. You are a very complex being. Your brain is so powerful. It can collect information, biography about you up to two million years. You can still remember what you got in 18 years at the age of 1,950 years. Uzo busa kumbulu you know, 18 years. Sas lali bola. And the case achieves. Your brains are is so huge. That is why it collects information all the day. I cut all in the world. I cut all the way. What if you get it only rest, but it's a funo go shaksas. Your brain acts like a muscle. Umuvila pufunda wenza mama cells of your brain abe weak. You, you can read uh, my, my brain cells can collect information as much as you as can. That is why you told us so, professor, reading books. Why? Because there's, there's an image of God in you. There is creativity in you because you are the product of a creator. You can innovate things. You, 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 can, you can, hallelujah, you can do, you can invent. Eh? Or touch screen or, 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 or TV without any connection. elements. Whether you are male or female, God no bunkulunkulu bunkulunku. God unga fila panjuk sebin sa potential kui. We hardly use ten percent of our mental capacity during our lifetime. Si fano nani ten percent unused. Anything oye chaling gondo ako. It's 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 what your mind is going to take to your life. Be, be careful what you say to your mind. It will tell your life. That is why when your mind is renewed by the word, your life is transformed. Amen. You can be anything often by you. Once you be a dreamer, then that thing that you can dream is, is, is something that you can achieve. Much more, Christ, you can do all things through Christ to give strength. Once you have the mind of Christ in your mind, you are double portioned. Go with potential. You can, your mind has power even to heal your body, your mind. Yeah. Yes. Thirty percent 
guess what? Well, usal uglento and nigayon. Go to seventy, usen gondu in etabanga with lento. So be very careful with you. Ufagani la kule compute. Because it will change your life. Even ukuka is the state of mind. Now, you, 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 speech center in your mind. We've got centers in, your, in our minds. There's the strongest center, the most influential, the most powerful center in your mind. It is called speech center. It acts as a rudder of the ship. Your whole life is a ship, but the rudder that, that, that determines the direction of a ship is your tongue. But why location it in say fell? That's how powerful your, your, your tongue can be. Because it is controlled by the most powerful center in your brains. Then every cell in your body. It, 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 it prepares its every cell in your body because in the world I have to say I have to say I have to say I have to that is why I can say I have to say I have to say I get away is your brain Umike Jordan, one gen HIV. Wakulumana yang atwa ibon. What it's not in your hands to kill me. You cannot kill me. About 14 years after Engenwe HIV, Waba U Sportman of the Year in America. Because in Gondu Yake Echelengeni Lot, you cannot. There's no way. Gang nigi lungelo look decide U Suglo Fagwam. Enga sin the sea. How much more must us in the sea? It's not your background that decides your future. It's when you take your future, your, your past into your future. But then by doing that, you are robbing yourself of your bright future. Because you have taken your past into your future. You have allowed your past to determine your future. You have all the powers. You have all the dominion that God has given you. To say hallelujah and declare and decree and prophesy about what you want in your future. You can say to this mountain, be moved, be uprooted, and be cast into the sea. A mountain is a, a perplexity. It's an insoluble problem. A face A man for now. Emmanuel book of the maker says you can speak to a situation. It will have to obey you. That is the mind of the maker. Oh, but about Mongole, you were prophesying over my life. Much more, the glory of this latter house will be greater than the glory of the former house. Now, you cannot have that type of glory until you arise and shine, for the light has come and the glory of God has risen upon you. So what I'm saying to you is another way of saying arise and shine. For the light has come and the glory of God has risen upon your life. And then the Bible says, behold, see nations are coming to your light and kings to your glory. They are shattered by the glory of God in you. Even the whole creation is groaning, yearning for the manifestations of the sons of God. 
Now this is another way of making you to be manifested. Even money must be attracted to you because you have money. It has been yearning for the sons of God. Yes, it's been, you know, Hallelujah, <laughs> Sends the practice, yes, way, as you are good, names in Beso Embat. If Piper Alicia would take a guy, I got feeling as moon, little Piper like a bonaga, go shooting Valerian Parati, go spirit man. Parati, go spirit man, go call him to Father No Christ. Little Piper as Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father, risen from the dead. So are we now in this world. Now in this world, we are as he is, not as he was, Econo Maria, seated at the right hand of the Father, risen from the dead. <laughs> 